In this video, we look at the difference between absolute change and relative change. Let's begin by taking a look at absolute change. We'll start with an example. On July 21st, 2020, there were 65,277 new COVID cases reported. On January 8th, 2021, there were 300,594 new COVID cases reported. Find the absolute change in the number of new daily cases. What does it mean when we're asked to calculate the absolute change? Well, the absolute change by definition is simply the absolute value of the ending quantity minus the starting quantity. Again, the absolute value of the ending quantity minus the starting quantity. In simple words, it's the absolute value of the difference between the two numbers. Let's apply this to our original problem. So on July 21st, 2020, there were 65,277 cases. This is our starting quantity because it comes first. At a later date, specifically in January, almost six months later, we have another amount, and that amount is 300,594. That's our ending quantity. To calculate the absolute change in these two quantities, we start by taking the absolute value of the ending quantity, which is 300,594, and subtract from it the starting quantity, 65,277. It's as simple as that. That give a, excuse me, that gives us the absolute value of 235,317. Now what does the absolute value do to this number? An absolute value takes any number and makes it positive. Since our original number is already positive, the absolute value does not affect it. So our final answer is simply 235,317 cases. This would be the absolute change in the number of new daily cases. Let's take a look at one more example involving absolute change. A politician's approval rating dropped from 52% to 47%. Find the absolute change in the politician's approval rating. To calculate that change, we again refer to the formula, which is the absolute value of the ending quantity minus the starting quantity. So we're going to have the ending quantity minus the starting quantity. In our specific example, our ending quantity happens to be 47% because the approval rating is dropping. So we're gonna start with the ending quantity, which is 47%, and subtract from it the starting quantity, which is 52%. If I take the absolute value of 47% minus 52%, I get the absolute value of negative 5%. And again, the absolute value of any number is simply its positive value, so specifically, the absolute value of negative 5% is just 5%. We would say that the absolute change in the politician's approval rating is 5%. I think we're ready now to take a look at relative change. Relative change is very similar to absolute change, except one caveat. The relative change takes into account the initial amount you're starting with. You're saying, how does the change relate to what you started with? Let's take a look with our examples again. On July 21st, 2020, recall there were 65,277 new COVID cases, and January 8th, there were 300,594 new COVID cases. This time, instead of finding the absolute change, we want to find the relative change in the number of new daily cases. Well, to do that, we need to look at the formula for relative change. The formula for relative change 
is that relative change is the absolute change divided by the starting quantity. Again, it's the absolute change divided by the starting quantity. And recall, absolute change is just the absolute value of the ending quantity minus the starting quantity. And then we're going to divide by the starting quantity. Let's apply this formula to our problem. We start with our absolute change. And if you recall from the previous example we did, our absolute change was 235,317. That was the absolute change in the number of new COVID cases. We simply took our end amount minus our start amount and then took the absolute value. But now to get the relative change, we want to compare that to the starting quantity. So we're going to divide by our starting quantity, which is 65,277. Now this gives us a fraction, and in fact a decimal, right? Fractions are directly related to decimals. And more than that, it also gives us a percent. Very often we'll express relative change in terms of percents. So let's calculate that now. If we take 235,317 and divide it by 65,277, we get approximately 3.6048.99122. And that makes sense because 235,000 is about three and a half times as large as 65,000. Now the relative change can be thought of as 3.6, but better yet, we think of it in terms of a percent. So we're gonna move our decimal two places to the right. And that tells us that our relative change is approximately 360.5%. In other words, you might've heard of like a 360.5% increase. We're talking there about a relative change. Let's look at one more example involving relative change. Let's take a second look at the politician whose approval rating drops from 52% to 47%. This time we want to calculate the relative change in the politician's approval rating. So how do we do that? Well, we start by taking the absolute change, and if you recall, the difference between 47% and 52% absolute value was 5%. So the absolute change was 5% between those two values. But to get the relative change, we have to divide by our starting value, which was 52%. We started at 52%, and then we went down by 5%. We're now going to divide these. Now, because we're dividing percents, a percent over a percent, we can ignore the percent symbol. I could go into the math on that, but just understand that as long as you're dividing percent on top and on the bottom, you can just cancel those out. So really, all you have to do is plug in on your calculator 5 divided by 52. And 5 divided by 52 is approximately 0.096. 1538. Again, when we think relative change, we think in terms of a percentage change, so we're going to move our decimal two places to the right. And therefore, we could say that the relative change in the politician's approval rating was approximately 9.6%. In fact, it was a drop of 9.6%. Anyways, hopefully this video helped to explain the difference between absolute change and relative change. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to email or message me. Good luck!